We're excited to welcome Fiesta Bowl champion, Sugar Bowl champion, and Super Bowl champion Paul Kruger and another athlete who, who is quite accomplished as well as brother Dave. Thanks both of you guys for coming in. Uh, Paul, I want to, you have a big thing coming up here uh, in the month of July, a great program you guys both are involved with. We've got to start with some football, right? Absolutely, man. I mean, how are yeah. things going in Cleveland the first year? We haven't <laughs> talked to you since you came back. It's going well. It's, it's, a, it's a different process coming from Baltimore. Um, you know, it's a completely different team, new coaches, new faces. So um, just the adjustment's been uh, a lot different for me versus playing in a, on a certain team for four years. Um, but it's exciting. You know, it's an opportunity for me to um, grow and develop as, as my career gets a little older late in the game. So um, really looking forward to this, this upcoming season. I mean, I feel like our defense is going to be right where it needs to be. Um, just picked up a bunch of new faces, so, so we'll see how it goes. Well, there's one face that caused quite a bit of buzz during the draft. Yeah. Uh, have you met, I, I assume you met Johnny at camp yeah. and at OTAs, and I heard you chase him around a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty quick though. <laughs> you gotta be on your, you gotta be on your A game, so he's, he's a good player. Um, really excited for him. I mean, it's, uh, it's, you know, having a, having a high profile guy come in just creates a lot of excitement and a um, ton of media there, and, and so it's, it's been fun. Was, is there a circus that revolved around that, or are the Browns doing a really good job of kind of containing that and trying to try to keep it normal? I think they're doing a great job, um, and, and he conducts himself really well. Um, you know, I think, I think on the field is where he's most, has most of his personality, yeah. um, but, but he's, he's been real respectful. Um, gotten along with all the guys, so it's, he's, you know, he's just fitting into the family now. Well, there's a coaching shakeup, management shakeup at Cleveland. Was that a negative, was that frustrating for some guys? Because I know that's, this is the group you signed with, but at the same time, is this something that a lot of guys are excited about some change? Yeah. Um, for me, I've, I've experienced kind of both. Uh, you know, I've seen guys with a lot of excitement for it. Um, you know, it brings, it brings added opportunities for other guys who, you know, didn't have it before, and, and you know, for me, I, I think it's, I've really enjoyed these new coaches, to be honest. I mean, they've just been competitive and, and uh, you know, tried to get to know everybody, so it's, it's, been, a, it's been a cool process. I want to talk to both of you about the Utes. You know, you were, you were there very, very recently. For both yeah. of you, you see this program struggling the last two years, missing a bowl game, but really, how close is this program to turning the corner and being competitive in the Pac-12 and getting where they want to be? I think it's really close. Uh, Coach Whittingham does a great job um, at what he does. His defense is always top notch. They were really close this last year from winning, uh, you know, three or four games that they should have won in, in the last seconds. I mean, you know, um, so I think this year, hopefully, they can turn that corner, like you're saying, and um, they can make a really big difference in the Pac-12. And uh, like I said, Coach Whittingham does a good job up there, and especially with the defenses. So. Yeah, Paul, I don't know how closely yeah. you could follow them, but you see something. Maybe there's just one thing that's missing to help them get over the top. Yeah, it's, man, it's crazy. You know, it's a, it's a game of inches. It really is. There can be years where, you know, guys can struggle and you barely lose games and then you might come back the next year and, you know, you just had that little edge and, and now you're, you know, winning 10, 11 games. So um, for me, my, uh, my faith is just in that staff up there. It really is. You know, I had the opportunity to be coached by those guys and so I just I know their dedication and loyalty to the to the to the you know the team and, and to the state of Utah and all the fans so I, I think they're you know they're definitely got some scheming going on putting yeah. something together so you guys have an event coming up with Paragon Youth Leadership Academy share with us what Paragon Youth Leadership is and what you guys are hoping to accomplish with this yeah um, Paragon is basically a um, a opportunity for young men to come and learn principles that will help them excel in life. I mean, that's basically as easy as I can put it. Um, our, our tagline is a code of excellence. Um, so what we do is basically have a day where um, kids can come, uh, young men, I'd, I'd like to say, um, can come and, and I'll have teammates there, you know, David's, David's friends who played, played in the NFL in college really want to help them understand how to be successful in a career, identifying what you're good at, and then these are the principles that it takes, you know, the hard work, the discipline, um, and then we'd like to go a bit further, but we can't reveal all our secrets no. today, you know. We, I understand, I want to do that now. Well, Dave, you've been involved with this. What are some of the things you've seen with this, how it's helped some young men? Um, a lot of young men afterwards, so like for instance, I was one of the teachers um, last year, and we talked a lot, a lot about organization. Um, 
being on time to things, the importance of respect, and, and just the things that school doesn't teach you as much as um, it should or, you know, we'd like it to sometimes. Uh, so I've seen a lot of benefits. You know, we'd raise your hand afterwards. We'd get everybody together after everything's all done and said, and we raise your hand. Who learned this? Who learned that? Well, you know, people would raise their hand and say, I learned about, I learned, I learned a lot about, uh, you know, how to stay organized or how to properly time what I need to do or plan. Um, if I have a goal or I want to achieve something in the future, how do I take those steps to do it? So we kind of teach, um, you know, like Paul was saying, how to be successful and uh, how to just be an all-around uh, good guy. Well, we've had some information on our screen. We'll also have some information up on KSL.com if you want to sign up for the, the camp and get involved. Guys, thanks so much for not only for coming in today, but for the work you're doing with the youth here in the state of Utah. Thanks a lot. Paul, Appreciate thank it. you. Dave, good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks, guys.